I'm now going to talk to you about a new crimping tool we have on the treeviewtrade.ie website which I have in front of me here on the table. It's an RJ11 and RJ45 crimping tool. So you can see anyway, just a quick overview of the tool itself. Um, up here we have um, a slot to allow us to crimp uh, RJ45s and the smaller slot here is for RJ11s. Uh, we also have uh, two types of cutting mechanisms on it. Uh, so I just tilt it here, if we push in the blades all the way, we'll see that this set of blades here is used to take off the outer uh, covering cable on a telephone and Cat5 cable and the next part is actually to cut the inner core cables. Okay. Now um, a neat um, little design on this is for transportation purposes it's possible to push in and click in um, this mechanism and when we open it then it clicks out and opens like this. So just to repeat that there we push in this thing here, push in this stopper here and then that's it. Okay so it's just a neat mechanism. So what exactly would we use this tool with? Well it's used specifically with the, the two different types of connectors. Uh, the RJ11s, we can see examples of it here behind me. So this is a true RJ11, there's four slots in it but only the middle two pins uh, have, uh, are, have only the middle two slots of copper pins in them, okay? And um, that we use in conjunction with telephone cable, okay? So they, but all these products we sell on the tvtrade.ie website and would normally use um, this to make up telephone extensions. So simply to run from a, a phone point on the wall to your telephone to connect it in, okay? And I have an example, um, that I'm just gonna move in here, uh, of a, a cable that we've made area. So a simple telephone cable, okay? And the important point with that is only the middle two pins are being used, okay? Now, um, the other thing we could possibly use this in conjunction with would be um, with RJ45s. So we just have a bag here um, of RJ45s, and these are basically used in the computer industry. Um, so you'll use them, we'll say, for uh, broadband, but also for creating local area ne network LANs. And you'll c group together, we'll say, a number of PCs, um, printer, scanner, uh, etc., uh, from a single router, okay? So um, the type of cable we use, instead of telephone cable, we actually use a uh, CAC5 cable. And we have an example, this is a box. Cat5 cable is normally sold in 305 meter uh, rolls, which equivalent, is equivalent exactly to 1,000 feet, okay? So I think it's a US standard originally. And I just have stripped down a Cat5 cable here, okay? And uh, you can see it there, um, just eight cables inside it, and all eight cables are being used in this, okay? And I'll just quickly demonstrate to you then a cable I've made up earlier, which is a um, a, a LAN cable or CAT5 cable and we've made this uh, with the crimping tool uh, demonstrating now. So I think for the purpose of this uh, video I'll just demonstrate how to use uh, this crimping tool to make a telephone cable. So what I have is I have a short length of um, a telephone cable here. So I'm going to pick up the tool here, unclamp it, I'll actually slot this tool through uh, and there's actually a stop on the back of the tool to measure the cable. Now sometimes I go a little bit further than that but basically if we do it here, and we pull this off here, uh, uh, so in a single mechanism, I've both cut the outer cable and pulled through. Now, it's ideal in terms of the distances, because no damage whatsoever has been caused to the inner cables. And when we look here, uh, it's possible to get telephone cable in a single pair. In this particular case, the most common would have in the industry would be four pair cable, okay? So we can see here, anyway, uh, uh, as I've said previously, only two of these cables are needed. So what I'd normally do at this particular point in time is, there is, uh, on this particular cable here, uh, there's orange, blue, uh, blue white and orange white, okay? So I'd normally just use the orange and the blue cables. So what I can do is to simply bend over these two cables here, or more likely again, actually just snip off these two, uh, like this, okay? And what we do then is, we simply line these up to make sure they're nice and straight. And if we weren't happy with the particular length of them, or we, want, we didn't think they were straight, we'd simply put them into the cutting tool here, into this particular mechanism here, and we'd simply snip off the top of them there, okay? Now we come along, the normal convention I would use, I'd put um, uh, blue first and then orange, okay? But uh, things like this, and I slot it into the, in like this, and now I come along and I actually get my crimping tool like this. So you can see any of the crimping tool is held like this, we simply slot this, um, in here, we push it through and we crimp it and this actually locks it into position, okay? And I release the crimping tool now and I just push up on this little lever on the bottom 
and I'm actually able to pull out. And this has actually been firmly, uh, firmly uh, crimped in position. And I'd obviously just repeat the process on the far end of it. So this crimping tool, it's very versatile. Um, it allows you to make up uh, telephone cables and uh, uh, Cat5 cables exactly to the length you want. Um, and also will say if you have very small holes that you're running cables through, it's a great advantage to be using cables you make yourself rather than pre-made cables, simply because you can shove the hole only needs to be the same size as um, the actual thickness of the cable. And then once you push the cable through, you can actually crimp it uh, onto the far end of the connector. So, you know, a simple but very versatile tool. And this will be very much uh, the same tool that professionals have used, uh, you know, the price range of this means that it's it's also applicable to people who are in the sort of DIY sector and uh, just want to have a tool that gives them great flexibility. Uh, okay, so that's it from beginning to end, uh, the RJ11 uh, and RJ45 crimping tool.